Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, this is going to be a love reading for my lovely Virgos. This can be for sun, moon, rising, or Venus, you name it. Or you could just be curious. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and get started, my loves. Open minds, open hearts. I'm going to go ahead and pull a card, Virgo, for your energy, okay? Just one card. Okay. You have three of wands, okay? So... I'm sorry, y'all. I had a notification come in. Um, anyways, but um, you could be getting a text message, okay? Because this is the Three of Wands, so you're waiting for something to come in or for something to manifest, okay? It's usually ships. It could be a package because that was a notification about a package being delivered, okay? So you could be getting something in the mail, Virgo, that you've been waiting for, okay? And I know it's just a package, but that package is very significant to you and whatever you're going through right now, okay? That's really deep. I don't know what that means, okay? If that resonates with somebody, I would love to know what that means for you in the comment section, okay? Um, but you're waiting for something to come in. It could be a text message, okay? It could be a phone call. It could be from, from a lover, okay? Or it could be outside of that, but it's gonna do something for your um, purpose or your love life right now or whatever you're going through right now, um, Virgo, um, that package means everything to you or that message, whatever that is, okay? Interesting message. Um, your person's energy. Ooh, okay, they got two. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. They got three of pentacles, okay? <laughs> they a little busy, you know? It could be some other people involved too, but that is what that is. Um, number six, the lover's card, okay? Also three of pentacles. You could work with them as well too or could have something to do with work, okay? Um, you or your person could be heavily focused on work or they could want to work with you. It doesn't necessarily mean like monetary or like career working. It could just mean they want to work more with you, okay? They could have children as well too. I don't usually get that from the Three of Pentacles card, but they could. Also, Three of Pentacles is like a community card as well too, okay? So they could be heavily focused on community or family, I'm hearing, and work. They could be a, a fellow um, herb sign, so Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus as well, too. They could be a Gemini, too, with the lovers coming out, okay? Um, they feel a very strong uh, tie to you, okay? They feel like that you ignite their passion, okay? They very deep, okay? They have a lot of passion for you, too, okay? Um, a lot of sacral energy, I'll put it that way, all right? They feel very, like, enticed by you. This is a very sexy reading, Virgo, okay? <laughs> You're trying to get into something, okay? Maybe that's what you waiting for. You waiting for them, okay? Um, waiting for them to put it down. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what came to mind. I don't usually get stuff like that, but that's probably what you waiting for. You waiting for them to put it down. <laughs> um... But yeah, they feel like that you is they soulmate. They they soul tie. They they everything. Okay, the um the light to they flame or the light to they candle. I'm hearing. Okay, you could love candles or they could light a lot of candles. I don't know why I got them. It's just, okay, mutual energy is the Queen of Cups. Okay, I, that's one of my favorite cards. To me, it's like um it's like similar to the High Priestess. Okay. Um, which is like Cancer and Pisces energy for me, okay? So um, you guys both want to surrender to this connection. Um, also, well, you guys both probably need to surrender. If you haven't, because if you watch this video, y'all may have not surrendered to each other, okay? Um, but surrender to each other, surrender to the divine, I'm hearing as well too. Um, also, follow your intuition and come from a place of love, come from your heart, okay? You guys have been uh, rooted heavily in your ego, Okay, especially with the fire energy out, pentacles, uh, they could be too heavily focused on stability and money. You could be too heavily focused on uh, action, passion, fire. Okay, this connection is causing you to uh, be more patient with that three of wands. Okay, I don't usually get that energy, but it's a sense of waiting for your ships to come in. So there's a patience that needs to be there. Okay. There's a lot of threes in this uh, reading, okay? So that means something, three and six, which six breaks down to three. So uh, the angel number three, three, six could be important to you or just the number three or the number six, look those up. It could be outside influences too, okay? So take that how that resonates for you. I have some cards fell on the floor. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some other cards, okay? If I feel called to pick them up, 
and share them with y'all. I will before the reading, all right? Um, I don't usually feel that way, but for some reason, I feel like I shouldn't get those or I'm conflicted about it, okay? They could be conflicted about, um, or you could be conflicted about something. I don't know if it's about the person or something in the package. I don't know if they sending you something, they're giving you something, you conflicted about it. You don't want to take it, okay? Um... But be open to receive, though, okay? And I know this is going to sound wild, but even if you feel like the person's intention, be mindful of that, too, okay? Make sure that your perception is your reality work, okay? Um, even if the person's intention is not, you feel like it's not pure, um, or it's too soon, or you uncertain about it, um, learn how to be in an energy of receiving, okay? As Virgos, you guys typically want to uh, give, and not necessarily receive, okay? So there's a balance that needs to take place within that, Virgo, okay? Ooh, okay. I'm trying to see what your challenge is. You don't want to tell me. Or you, unless you feel like it's a lot of challenges. Okay. You got the Knight of Wands. Let me pick this up, y'all. Okay, no, you got the Knight of Wands. That's crazy. Capricorn got this card, too. You got the four cups that came up as your challenge, and then you got the Knight of Wands. Okay, passion. You want to get active with them, Virgo, okay? <laughs> you want to get active with them, and you feel like that's the challenge, okay? You feel like if y'all get active with each other, <laughs> I got to use my words wisely. If y'all get active with each other, Virgo, I did not expect y'all to be doing all this stuff. If you get active with this person, Virgo, um, you feel like it's going to change everything, Okay. You feel like it's just that one time. <laughs> With the four cups, you just need that one time and that's it. I don't usually get that with that though. You feel like you're going to light up their life just that one time, but you feel like that's the issue though. Okay. You say you got all the stamina. <laughs> you say once you do that one time, they'll be grateful for you. They ain't going to never be able to let you go. I'm not going to play with you, Virgo. Um, let's see what your potential outcome is and get your, um, what's the other message, your advice. Your potential outcome is Eight of Cups. Walking away from things that no longer serve you negativity, okay? This could be related to this third party energy, Virgo, okay? <laughs> you or this other person is attached to somebody, Virgo. Let's state the obvious, the elephant in the room, Virgo. Okay, I know you don't want to talk about it, but... You attach to somebody, whether that's physically or spiritually, or you to the other person, okay? Or some type of limited construct or something, exactly. For your advice, you have number 18, the moon card, and you have the nine of swords, okay? So something is creating um, mental anguish with, with inside of you or anxiety, sleepless nights, okay? You could be thinking about this person a lot, but it's, it's something, it's that limited mindset or something, or another person mentally or physically, okay? Something's hidden too. You have hidden emotions. You might need to express yourself, okay? Express yourself or reveal whatever is hidden, okay? Whatever that means to you, my little, all right? Let's go ahead and pull a lover's oracle card. Just one card, well, one card. Okay, I got two, okay. This is the energy I feel too, playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Yes, I feel so joyful and so lighthearted, okay? And usually I don't get that in my Virgo reading. So pick up on the energy, be more flirty, be more lighthearted, be more uh, sensual, I'm hearing, okay? Be more passionate, feel more alive, more playful, okay? Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer, exactly, okay? Love heals you within, and this person, y'all connection is very healing for you, okay? Start seeing the playful energy or the lightheartedness I'm hearing from you, okay? I'm hearing from that card. Look deep within your heart, and you feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. This is my card right here, y'all, okay? This, this man right here deep. <laughs> You could be dealing with a water sign, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, don't have to be, but whoever you're dealing with, they deep, okay? Um, you love the intensity, the passion that they give you, all right? Let's go ahead and get a lesson card. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, Virgo, okay? I know I just, I'm just playing. I'm playing, Virgo, okay? I'm playing. 
Okay, okay then. I ain't want all of them, Virgo. Girl, y'all don't want y'all reading to be short at all. Death, I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. I said y'all was out to water sign. Okay, this is Scorpio for Major Arcana. You can have Scorpio in your chart too, okay? I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. That old thing is an old thing, Virgo, okay? You know what I'm talking about. Um, loneliness, I know that I'm never alone. Release this, okay? As a Virgo, you know if you ain't got nobody else, you got God, okay? You know if you ain't got nobody else, you got God. So you never lonely, Virgo, never... Okay, um, self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others, okay? That self-esteem need to be up. <laughs> you need to be up, Virgo, okay? Up. You can have whatever you want. You can have whatever man, whatever woman you want, okay? If you want a family, you can have that. If you want a million dollars, you can have that, Virgo. I'm telling you, you can have whatever that you want, Virgo, okay? So believe that. Um, let's go ahead and get a positive affirmation card. Just one, my love. Just one. We ain't gonna take three or five or six. Y'all be wanting to lie. No. Um, just one, please. I'm gonna go and get up out of here. Now I told you just one. Okay, I'm gonna take that one. Um, uh, it says my challenges and hardships are valuable lessons. Okay. If you know, you know. I'm going to read it two more times, my love, to speak into existence. My challenges and hardships are valuable lessons. My challenges and hardships are valuable lessons. I say, and so it shall be. All right. And this is really not, it is affirmation, but it's an affirmation for you to tap into that, okay? To not see your challenges and hardships as a disadvantage, but really as an advantage, okay, for wisdom. You have a lot of wisdom with the hermit energy, okay? So know that whatever you have learned is a valuable lesson. And that's going to get you to whatever you want to have, okay? Or wherever you want to be, my loves, all right? So, my loves, that is all I have for you today, okay? Remember to have fun. Play. Be lighthearted, my loves, okay? Um, enjoy. Enjoy the passion, okay? If you're ready to get busy, ready to get active, do it. There's nothing wrong with it, Virgo, okay? Love yourself, all right? God love you, all right? That's the most important. All right. So if you resonated with this reading or if you enjoyed it, my loves, please uh, let me know in the comment section below. I love to hear from y'all. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Okay. Below. And most importantly, my loves, if you have not heard this today, you are loved and you are cherished. Until next time, my loves. Bye-bye.